Today is listing day. We are headed to a property. Got the cameraman Nick back there. Wave at the camera, Nick. Another listing manager who is finding the signs to, to get us down the road. And drone. We got 50 acres. House on 50 acres. someone who's filming me. <laughs> Super weird. This property is going to be a little different than, than most properties. First of all, it's 50 acres. So that that's that is it's amazing to be able to find a property that's got 50 acres. It's got a pond, uh, beautiful land, has a big workshop, sort of like an outbuilding. Uh, the house is a really good sized house, uh, probably close to 4,000 square foot, has an unfinished basement. But the unique thing about this property is it's going to have deed restrictions. This property, the, the owner of the property had passed away and actually left what they call a life estate to his dog. And his dog lived in the property with, uh, with a caretaker until the dog passed. Once the dog passed, then the property uh, immediately was deeded into PETA, the, uh, the animal organization's uh, trust. So now PETA owns it. So so PETA has contacted me to come to come sell the property. I've looked at the property a couple times. Uh, I'm taking the, the listing team out there and uh, the video guy, camera guy. We're gonna go out there and do some pictures, get some drone footage. But the uh, the thing about this property, it's gonna have deed restrictions. This property for the for forever, to perpetuity, you will never be able to hunt, never be able to fish, or never to be able to trap. So this is gonna be a very interesting sale because of those restrictions. And uh, I'm looking forward to the, the excitement of navigating, uh, navigating that sale. We made it. Uh, as you can see on the way in, the, uh, it's beautiful. Uh, <clears throat> a big pond, lots of land. So it's going to be a huge, huge selling point is the land. Uh, and hopefully the deed restrictions won't deter anybody from purchasing. Because it's a great house too. Can you imagine this house on 50 acres? Rocking chair front porch. So as we come in, uh, I want you to keep in mind, the house has great bones. It is, uh, it is dated and it's definitely lived in and worn, but it has great bones. Like you can see some of the, some of the dated stuff. Uh, wallpaper, the wood floors are amazing. Uh, older brass chandeliers and as we go into the kitchen as you can see it's a big kitchen you got solid surface countertops and it's a big kitchen it goes all the way back into the living room One of my favorite things of the property is the back porch. As you can see, the back porch is just as big as the front porch. And this property is centered in about the 50 acres. So with the house being centered on 50 acres, you know, you have 20 acres in the front and you have, or 25, and you have 25 in the back. As you can see, you got a really good, good sized backyard
and as you go in the backyard uh, then it goes into a wooded area and I am walking back to show you the outbuilding I've been walking down on this trail for for a couple minutes it's a uh, to the property is beautiful if I didn't have to maintain something like this this would be perfect for me so here's the outbuilding it's like a one car oversized one garage oversized but with high ceilings so there's a lot of opportunity here uh, collectibles antiques uh, just different types of cars or, or whatever somebody's looking for to sell um, didn't bring the key and as any property once it sets vacant uh, I can't find a lot switch in here but we have a few issues uh, just found one of them the floors have had a little bit of water damage and something's happening upstairs so when you when you have a property that's been setting a while and it's taken some damage and it's not been upkept like uh, like it could uh, you have to take that in consideration when pricing it uh, this one will be tricky to price uh, what we'll have to do is i'll have to get comparables with the house as i get comparables with the house i'll come up with an evaluation what the house is worth what it should sell for and then i'll find comparable pieces of land and once I come up with a price per square acre multiplied by 50 and or multiplied per acre multiplied by 50 and then add the house value, then I'll have an evaluation of what the property will sell for. So it's a little trickier the more work, the more damage something needs to be done. But this is not our first rodeo. Here we have a photographer in her natural habitat. <laughs> Okay, we just finished up the, uh, the listing. So you have experienced the day in the life of what a listing looks like. Already had the initial meeting, so you didn't get to see that, but you got to saw us come up, uh, walk through the house, prepare it, pictures. We didn't get drone. Uh, we ended up getting to the property, and Nicholas didn't have service, so we couldn't get the drone up, but we will. And uh, Anna took some good pictures. So uh, this, this house will be live next week. Be ready to rock and roll.